Hey guys, Sonic here from the Surgeon Network. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a collage in Photoshop. Uh, this is a slightly different method to the ones you probably see currently on YouTube because, cut a long story short, um, a year ago I made a collage of all the Call of Duty games in a long image for a petition I did. Um, tried to access the video today to do another new collage following that same video. Unfortunately that video was in a foreign language so obviously at the time I had to revert, kind of like reverse engineer and play back the video many many times to work out what it was doing. Um, unfortunately that video was deleted so then I thought well I'll go back to my original Photoshop document and then I couldn't work out what I did. Uh, after lots of trial and error I have actually now worked out what I've done and I'm going to show you um, how I basically do it. Obviously, like I said before, this is a two image collage, but I can make um, another video or maybe even recreate the video of all the Call of Duty games alongside each other, uh, which will probably be a more lengthy video. So if anyone's actually interested, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and do a multiple image collage. Anyway, we're gonna cut to the chase, uh, create a new, uh, I wanna go for a rectangular design, so 1000 by 500 height, create. Um, first thing you want to do is we've got to create our kind of like masks which are going to be used to actually kind of reshape the um, Call of Duty images I'm actually going to drag in. Uh, what you want to do is press P on your keyboard or go to the pen tool here on the right hand, or left hand side sorry and I'm going to make a diagonal line kind of roughly halfway. So you want to click outside of your canvas area and I'm going to click there like this and you can see it's starting to fill it already. And then of course you click on this blue one here and it'll fill with the square. Now if, you, if I go to image, you can see it's actually outside the canvas area. Obviously to undo what I've just done, you go to uh, undo, sorry, edit, step backward, which is Alt, Control, Z, or on a Mac, Alt, Command, Z. Uh, so what you want to do here to fix that is you want to right click and go to rasterize layer, which is there or you can go to layer and rasterize layer. Doesn't physically do anything on the screen, but obviously the next bit will. What you want to do now is you want to do Control A or Command A. That will do a whole selection of the entire, what well, I suppose in Illustrate it's called an artboard, but in here it's um, your canvas. Uh, to deselect, if you're wondering how I'm doing this, so Control D or Command D on a Mac. The other way you can do it is go to the marquee tool, obviously you want to set the rectangle and just drag from like left side to the right hand side and then you want to go to image and go to crop. Now if I do control D again to deselect, you can see there's nothing lingering around and if I go to image, reveal all, nothing happens because I've chopped off all the excess outside the canvas area. Right, so now I want to do another um, collage to the right. I'm going to select the fill up here. I'm going to set it to green so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, basically, it doesn't. You, you can try and get close to the line as much as possible, but it doesn't really matter to be fair. You want to kind of be above, kind of follow the line parallel as much as possible. And I'm just kind of drawing an estimated line, like so. Uh, same thing again. Rasterize. Uh, to control A, so it's, uh, select and everything. Go to image, crop, and then control D to deselect. Right, now, see that the green box is kind of dominating at the moment. It's taking a bit more than the room I wanted. Obviously, by default, uh, the top layer is always obviously on top. So in theory, I could just rearrange these. And now the red one is. I mean, that looks kind of 50-50. So yeah, you can rearrange these later on. And do whatever you want really, I could do two thirds like that. So long as I have the red on top, I've obviously put the green back up here. Obviously the green was obviously set to 50% roughly, wasn't it? So anyway, we'll undo that because, yeah. We'll have that like that. Right, now we're gonna grab our images. So I like to embed stuff, it makes documents huge, but trust me, when you delete the original, or you accidentally delete the original image, you've at least got the original image in here. And the, I'm going to give you a little tip on this, really, kind of boasting a little bit here. 
the way I'm doing this collage is a non-destructive way. So basically when I'm importing these images, or even if I do it the linked way, um, we're not actually going to be physically doing anything to the actual images in the layers. I'll be able to move them around, resize them, turn them upside down, apply filters to them. All of the other tutorials I've tried to see on YouTube this afternoon um, seem to be using the brush tool, which personally works, but obviously if you save the document and close out and then come back into it, you can't really go and undo all that undo history. But anyway, um, so we want Modern Warfare 2 on the left hand side, I'm going to put him there roughly. Uh, go to file, place embedded, and we've got a Modern Warfare 4. He's going to go roughly there. And as you can see, he's kind of hidden behind the green box. That's because I've got all my layers all over the place at the moment. So this is where we're going to rearrange. So as you can see, in the little, we've got little previews of where everything is on the canvas. We want Modern Warfare re, uh, remastered above the red, which is. We want Modern Warfare 4 above our green so if you move up you can see the, the white silvery line I'll show you where to drop it do it like that now this is the best bit I love this this is called um, a clipping mask basically we want whatever image we have selected here in the layer to be shaped by whatever we select which in this case is our green and red box so for Modern Warfare 4 you hold down control on a Windows command on a Mac and you hover your hand over the little preview and you'll get a little square which basically is this marquee tool up here so we're now going to select and you can see inside here this image is going to be masked by here so this bit here is basically going to disappear so to speak so what you want to do is you go to layer create clip and mask which is obviously alt control Z, uh, G or on a Mac would be Alt Command G. So I'm going to click that, and you can see it's done that. After doing a Control D or Command D to deselect, do the same thing for the Modern Warfare 2 poster. Select the image we want to use, and then control, hold down Control, left click on the image we want to use as our mask. Go to Layer, create Clip and Mask, and it's done. Now I'm not happy where the positioning of these images is. And obviously if you're using the brush method and you had obviously brushed loads away, you wouldn't be able to do that really unless you'd undo it all and come back to it. The beauty of my method is I can actually nudge these over. And obviously to do that, you can use the arrows. To nudge it in bigger increments, you can hold down shift. So I just want Modern Warfare 4 kind of centralized. And Modern Warfare 2 is kind of centralized to some degree. See, I said it was 50-50 earlier. I'd actually say Modern Warfare 4 has taken up a bit more room. So what I want to do is disable uh, these two images, go back to our kind of template blocks, as I like to call them. Come over to the red one. Uh, because red is under the green, the green is going to be dominant here. So I'm actually going to move these two up above. So that now I want to move this box. I'm repositioning it. I'm not sure why. Oh, that's, that's why. It's because both of them selected then. So I've come back here. If you're wondering how I'm selecting the different layers, uh, it's this little box up here. If you're wondering, so if I untick that, you can see that if I try to click this green box, I'm not. I'm actually now going to physically move the red because I've got my red box selected in the layer panel. So yeah, having that up there automatically select, automatic selects the layer. Anyway, so we've got the box. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Click on that. Now if we re-enable our images. That needs re-centralizing. And as you can see, I'm just nudging these along. Perfectly fine without having to faff around with things. Right, what I usually do now to make it more collage looking is you want to apply effects to the actual um, masks themselves. So what you can do is you go to effects down here. I'm going to go to stroke, or you can actually double click. Kind of, I think, that, by the way, double click enough just as I found out. Double click in the actual text, renames it. Click off to the right hand side. There you go, it brings up a box. So I select stroke, which will automatically tick it. I'm going to do a white collage. 
In fact, it's actually got most of my settings already saved, but I'll quickly go through them. Uh, position, outside, obviously you'll have, I wonder if I can probably show you actually. If I go to image, reveal all, actually that's a bad example actually, let's just change it to a different color. As you can see, it's actually gone outside the image. Uh, if I do inside, it does the exact opposite. It sits inside the image. And center, I believe, does a bit of both. So, of course, if we go, because I want to do that, undo that reveal all, uh, because I don't actually know how to undo that yet. There's probably a way of doing that. You can let me know in the comments if you know how to do it. Um, I usually do inside so I can get the border all around. Don't want to do overprint because that will just kind of blend with the other one when I bring it in. Set the 10 pixels, click OK. And if you right click on that masking layer, go to copy layer style, come down to our shape 2, paste layer style. We've now got the same one here again. So if I now go in and here and I thought, right, okay, I don't like the white, I want to do a black, do that, right click again, copy layer style, come to shape 2, paste layer style, so I've now got a black outline collage, so actually Modern Warfare 2 now looks even with the borders in, it now looks bigger than the Modern Warfare 4 poster, but like I said you can readjust these, in fact actually I could maybe, I disabled these before these images, but to be fair, it is kind of working, but I do like to disable um, the images in here because they're only just following what's here. So that's about 50 50. So if you go too far, you're going to get that line crossover. Do that again, re enable these back in, and voila, we have a collage. So, yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want me to see me doing uh, more of these images, so if I had another image to the side of here and it wasn't squared off the side, I'm just basically repeat this um, kind of diagonal line all the way across. Um, let me know in the comments and I'll do a second video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked something today. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you uh, subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like and let me know in the comments what you think, really. Anyway, see you guys.